Let us look at this question. A slit has a width of... Ah, you see? So, identify this is about double slit, single slit, thin film or diffraction grating. Uh, here, the first keyword we already see. Uh, a slit. It's not double slit. It's not two slit. It's not many slits like diffraction grating. It's only one slit. So, this is about single slit question. Uh, this is the first thing we need to know. This question about uh, single slit. Okay? A question about single slit. A slit. Yeah? A slit. That means just uh, one slit. Uh, just one slit. Single slit. A, uh, has a width of A1. Uh, it did give you the A1, the width. The, the width, the, the width, the size of the slit, yeah, the width of the slit. When light of wavelength, okay, you have lambda 1. Oh, that means you have two light, eh? you have lambda 2 also. Yeah? So, lambda 1 and lambda 2 passes through the slit. Uh, the width of the central bright fringe. Uh, he's talking about the width of central bright fringe. The width of the central bright fringe. That means this one talking about the W, uh, which is equal to 2Y1. Uh, see remember this one? 2Y1, it depends on the first dark fringe formula. First dark fringe because the first dark fringe is the wall. The wall for this central bright fringe. Okay, look back to my previous, my video lecture. Okay, my lecture video. So the width of central bright fringe has a certain value. Okay, it's uh, unknown. Yeah, it just have a certain value. With the screen kept in the same place. Uh, kept in the same place, that means uh, the screen kept in the same place, that means the screen distance never change. Uh, we can say uh, screen kept at the same place, that means the, the big D is constant. Yeah, yeah. The screen uh, kept at the same place means the distance of the screen, the distance of the screen from the slit is constant, which is the big D is constant. Okay. This slit is replaced with a second slit. Oh, you use a different slit already. Uh, different slit, the different size. Different size of the slit, A2. And a wavelength, or wavelength also change. Use a different light. This one use a light of this wavelength. And then use a different light again with another wavelength. Uh, lambda 2 equal to 740 nanometer. Okay, a different light, different slit. The width of the central bright fringe unchanged. Observe to be unchanged. So that means we can say the width is constant. Uh, we can put um, maybe we can put this as the W W uh, W one. Uh, this one as W two. Uh, yeah, the width of central bright fringe is unchanged. We can say uh, that means uh, here lah. Uh, w one equal to W two. The width unchanged. Uh, the width is unchanged. That means uh, W1 equal to W2. Right? Find A2. So you need to find A2. So, okay, first of all, back to the concept of uh, width of central bright fringe. What is it? If you uh, please refer back to my lecture video, okay, about width of central bright fringe. Uh, so, uh, so, how to find the width of central bright fringe? Okay, if you don't remember all the formula, don't memorize, never mind. We start from the concept. First of all, you know this is about single slit. Single slit. Remember, single slit is about antiphase. It's about antiphase. Okay? Antiphase. So, another thing is talking about the width of central bright fringe. This is the one. Ah, uh, yeah. You see, here is the. This is the central. This is the central bright fringe. See that? This is the width, the central bright fringe. Uh, the one I highlighted. Uh, this is the central bright fringe. So, uh, besides, beside the central bright fringe, we have the first minimum. Uh, we call it first dark fringe. Alright? So, we want to find the width. Uh, we use the position of the uh, first dark fringe, which is the first minimum. Uh, we use this one. And this one, uh, this is the weave. Uh, this the the whole thing. This one is the weave. Okay. 
Ah, uh, so we know that um the position of the first dark fringe, yeah, this is the dark fringe or minimum. Uh, this is a uh, y one. Y one is the first dark fringe to the central maximum. So since the width is both side, both side, so that means w is equal to uh, w equal to two y one. Ah, uh, so this y this y one we use the uh, first dark fringe. Ah, uh, so this first dark fringe, what order is it? Uh, still remember what's the order for single slit? Ah, remember yeah about the single slit yeah. Uh, let me write it down yeah. Uh, ah, this one yeah. Maybe I should copy this again and put it here yeah yeah. Okay. Ah, see that. Talking about the first dark fringe, first dark fringe. What order is it? Ah, uh, order. What order is it? Uh, talking about uh, single slit, single slit. The talking about dark fringe, isn't it? Talking about dark fringe. Uh, it is the dark fringe. Uh, dark fringe single slit. It follow order. It follow order. That means what it means by follow order. If double slit is m plus one dark fringe. If single slit, the dark fringe is follow order. That means uh, the uh, the first dark fringe is is considered the first order dark fringe ah uh, follow order just um follow order ah uh, first dark fringe is the first order dark fringe ah uh, besides it don't it doesn't have it doesn't have zero order dark fringe it don't it don't have because the for single slit ah uh, sorry ah uh, uh, again sorry uh, so for single slit it doesn't have uh, zero order because the the single slit is uh, the single slit is start from one. You see that uh, single slit is start from one. Uh, so the first dark fringe is the first order dark fringe. It follow, I follow order, okay? Because it doesn't have zero order dark fringe. It start from the first order dark fringe, okay? Uh, so first order dark fringe. So n should put one, right? Uh, okay, look at here. So the first dark fringe is uh, first order lah, follow order. Okay, and you should put one. And then talking about dark fringe, uh, talking about dark fringe, uh, so we need to use, uh, to find the central maximum, we need to use equation for dark fringe. Equation for dark fringe for single slit, which is anti phase. Ah, remember, for anti phase, uh, dark fringe is what formula? Is m plus is n lambda or n plus half lambda? Ah, look at this one. Okay, anti phase single slit is anti phase. Anti phase means uh, this this category lah. Uh, this category anti phase uh, anti phase means uh, we are talking about we are talking about uh, dark fringe yeah because we want the position of the first dark fringe. Dark fringe formula use the dark fringe formula for anti phase. So the dark fringe formula. Uh, dark fringe formula, which is uh, this one, uh, okay. So for anti phase, uh, bright fringe is m plus half lambda, but for dark fringe is m lambda. Is m lambda. Uh, so the formula, look at this one. For single slit, for single slit is anti phase. Uh, for double slit is in phase. If you look at the formula, it's almost the same. Just d change to a, and the m change to n uh, and then the equation is actually opposite do you see that uh, because this is uh, in phase this is in phase this is anti phase uh, yeah just like this one uh, this is in phase this is anti phase so that's why that's why the equation uh, exchange uh, ex equation exchange so this one also the same uh, in phase anti phase so equation also exchange uh, now we want the dark fringe formula, dark fringe formula, and single slit, single slit is anti phase, anti phase. So dark fringe use n lambda. Ah, this one, this formula, n lambda d over a. Uh, that's our formula. Okay. So now uh, our formula is dark fringe, n lambda d over a. Uh, so what order we put for, and uh, uh, the width it. Is two y one. The width is two y one, 
and uh, this first start fringe is first order so our n you should put one uh, n you should put one because for single slit it start from n equal to one ah uh, start from one there's no zero there's no zero it start from one so uh, uh, it start from one so you should put one yeah that's the uh, this is uh, what we can say this one uh, this one the first or first minimum this one is first order dark fringe the below one also the same huh uh, just put n equal to one okay uh, this is the first order dark fringe this one also first order dark fringe that uh, this dark fringe this dark fringe is the the just beside the central black fringe yeah it's just beside the central black fringe uh, this first order dark fringe so just put um, this one first order n equal to one uh, and then uh, that's the weave uh, so the weave is two lambda d over a that's a formula the weave formula for the weave two lambda d over a okay so now we already got um just now we uh, he said the weave of central bread fringe unchanged between these two wavelength and these two different size of slit okay uh, these two cases uh, i put this one you see i put into two column ah easy for me to see yeah easy for me to see i put into two column okay so um uh, uh, okay the width one equal to width two uh, so what's the difference between these two uh, the lambda one and lambda two and this one use slit one and slit two uh, so the D is constant because you say the screen kept at same place. Kept at same place, the screen at the same place means the D is constant. So we can cancel the D, cancel the D, and then we substitute all the rest of the uh, the value, and we can get the answer. The lambda is uh, five one zero exponent negative nine. Okay, and then uh, the D just cancel already, and then A one is uh, two point three exponent negative six and then uh two lambda two uh seven four zero uh, exponent negative nine okay uh over over what over a2 ah this is what we don't want to find a2 okay uh, so substitute all the value there and what's our a2 so our a2 we will get a2 the answer is uh uh, the answer will be uh, a two will be uh, three point three four exponent three point three four exponent negative six meter ah that's our weave okay the first one has a big uh, has a smaller slit has a smaller slit the second slit is a bigger slit yeah it's a bigger slit ah. That's our answer if you get it if you count cal uh, calculate it correctly. All right. Okay, let's move on to the next video.